So in my last clip, I believe I finished a quest. I think it was the Eyes of the Glowfree. And if you took notice of my construction, it was 26 or 27. I think it was 27. Um, and now about 45 minutes later to an hour later, um, it is now 4 47. So um, that's going to allow me to make, hopefully, a, a portal room as well as an altar room or a chapel so I can make myself an altar as well as a cannabis portal because I've completed Desert Treasure. But um, what I did was this. I did spend 500k GP on getting 47. Um, the old, I guess the alternate method was to spend about 250k to make my own planks um, from cu obviously cutting or buying my um, my oak logs and then going to the sawmill and then um, doing it that way. But I figured, you know, an extra 250k for maybe half the effort was definitely worth it because I'm going to be making all that money back from Barrows. And that's going to be the main um, the main goal of the Prime series was to um, get my skills up high enough and get enough items to start Barrows and doing effective Barrows runs. And I've basically achieved that. So I guess the Prime series is coming to an end very, very shortly. But I'm going to be starting up a couple of other series, um, mainly just a 1,000 Barrows runs. I want to do a 1,000 Barrows chests and show you guys sort of what loot I get from that. Um, and that should, I should make a fair amount of money from that. And once I've um, got my stats up and stuff, I'm 60 agility now. I do want to get that to 70. Uh, once I hit 70 agility, I should be able to go and do Sarodomen as well. And it basically just opens up a massive window of opportunity for um, for God Wars as well as just PVM in general. But there's a massive milestone achieved, 47, and I may as well just build myself the altar now. Um, I'm going to enter the portal to see what room I actually spawn on. Because when you, whenever you enter a house portal, you spawn on the same block every single time. And I'm going to have a little look where I am now. So this is actually the best place to put an altar would be in this room right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly turn building mode on. And I'm going to have to remove this room here and then build myself. I'm going to build the altar or the chapel uh, first and then I'll put the, uh, the portal room to the side of it. Yep, so you need 45 for a chapel and 50 for a portal room. I do have a crystal saw. I'm not sure if that will work with building a room, but I really do hope it does because um, otherwise I'm going to have to buy some more oak planks to get myself um, three more construction levels. So I'm going to be back. I'm going to quickly um, grab my crystal saw out of the bank. And I just realized as well, I haven't actually done a bank video. Um, so I'm going to be doing a bank video probably at the end of the Prime series just to show you guys what I've achieved through the entire series. I believe about 15 episodes the Prime will be. And I'm going to make like a little montage as well just to show all of my achievements since I started this account. But I believe I can make the portal room if I have this crystal saw. Um, let's hope we can. 100k. You need a construction of 50 to build this room. I do have my crystal saw, but it looks like that's not the case. Um, I'm going to try and get some boosts with our construction, see if this works. There we go, there's the 52 boost. So I couldn't actually use the crystal saw to boost the uh, the 3, but I did manage to use the um, the orange spice, which is always nice. So hopefully I can build this really, really quickly and everything will be all good. There we go. And what? not quite sure what construction level we need to build this middle bit. So it is two limestone bricks. I'm going to quickly go to the bank and get my two limestone bricks. And I think the crystal saw actually works with this. I think it's just building rooms a bit awkward. But um, I'm going to quickly leg it back there um, with these two limestone bricks just in case. Because you can... Uh, it's better safe than sorry. There we go. What do you need for the frames? I'm just going to build an oak frame, I think. Teak planks. Damn it, you need teak planks. All right. So here's the ultimate test to see whether the um, the crystal saw works, boosting three stats. There we go. So it does. That's a massive relief because you know building those portal rooms. I didn't really expect it to work, but um, you know it always makes you a little bit nervous when it um, when your plan doesn't sort of work straight away. So there we go. I'm gonna put some um, runes in this teleport portal now. I build myself in the altar space. What do I need? Four oak planks, um, and that should be all good. So very very excited for that. And um, I guess let the barrows begin. Now I hope um, directing the portal number one is to the east. I'll be a little bit disappointed if it's to the south, but uh, we're going to quickly put the Carol. I think it, that's how you pronounce it. Carol. Um, oh, so it's down there, which is a bit of a shame, but that's all right. Um, now I'm going to build this altar. And we've got everything ready to go for barrows. So... Um, so I think I might continue doing this Prime series just for progress videos. I may just make it um, into progress videos rather than just the Prime. 
Um, but yeah, so that's basically all of the prime, all the goals achieved for the prime. I'm going to quickly go to my bank and show you everything that I have achieved throughout the series. And um, yeah, quickly show you guys that. So I've decided to reflect on the series. I've just gone to my bank and picked out a couple of items that have uh, meant a lot through me, uh, meant a lot to me throughout this entire series. And they're basically the main goals that I have achieved throughout the series. Now, um, let's just get into it. I'm not quite sure how to start this, but... Um, I guess we're standing in my house, which I've just, you know, which I've just shown you, and I've just created. So when I began the Prime series, my main goal was basically just to do PVM, get an account sort of stable enough so I can do, you know, a little bit of PVM, um, nothing too great, but just, you know, just start it. And now, um, this is a massive milestone, obviously putting my Cower Portal in my house, as well as my altar there. So whenever I, tele whenever I teleport to my house, I can use my altar and then go straight through the Cower Portal and make my way back down to Barrows. Um, so that was, you know, that was a massive, massive milestone, which I've just completed. Um, my monkfish in my inventory and just my quests in general. So I guess my Barra's gloves and my monkfish symbolize the fact that I've completed a lot of quests, as well as my Legends Cape and my Crystal Bow, because these are all items, I guess, um, these are all quest rewards. Um, obviously, the Barra's gloves being probably the best reward out of um, all of these there. Legends Cape isn't too bad, seeing as I have the Fire Cape, but I'll get to that a little bit later on. Um, the Crystal Bow, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to use this, but, you know, the Bow, Crystal Bow, Roving Elves, you do need to complete Regicide, which is 56 Agility, and, you know, the, a fair amount of players you'll find do not enjoy doing sort of the Elf sort of quests, so that I count that as a pretty big achievement. Um, if you have a little look at the stats as well, you know, 70 base stats with 73 range, getting from 71 to 73 range just in the fight caves. Um, 52 prayer. I didn't buy any dragon bones for 52 prayer. I did that solely off Slayer, mainly off blue dragons. I'm pretty sure every single bone that I did get was off um, was off a blue dragon through my Slayer. So 52 prayer was all done sort of in Iron Man mode, I guess you can say. Obviously, my account is an Iron Man. 67 mage, obviously a uh, quite a big achievement for me as well. Nothing too special, but you know it's definitely worth noting there. Um, 60 agility, and that's basically all of the stats that are worth noting. Um, with the other exception of Slayer and maybe fishing just for monkfish and stuff like that. But um, obviously, so the quests are out of the way. Quests were a massive one. This Abyssal Whip and I guess the Rune Defender are just for me melee. Mainly just the Abyssal Whip is just showing you guys that it's got uh, 70 attack, which is always good. Abyssal Whips, you can never go wrong with an Abyssal Whip, um, especially when you add the, the Kraken Tentacle to it as well. Rune Defender, not so much of a big goal. That's more of just a day job or a half day job just to go into the, uh, the Warriors Guild and get that. The Slayer Helm, 400 Slayer points. That's not a small task either, so that's a massive achievement with the Black Mask as well. Uh, Ranar Seeds was, you know, another one. You always make money off these Ranars. Well, I find you always make money off these Ranars, um, and you can do it every now and again with uh, my 50 farming. So, doing, you know, being able to be set up enough for to do to do Ranar runs, or Herb runs, I guess you can say. That was a big achievement in itself. Um, and then just basically my 70 defense with my uh, my Torags and my Verax sort of uh, symbolizing that with my 70 defense. And then last but not least, the Fire Cape, which is probably the biggest achievement I've, I, uh, I guess, achieved on this account. Um, the Fire Cape and the Barrow's Gloves are probably the two biggest achievements I've actually got on this account so far. Um, but massive things to come. But I guess these are the main items that I wanted to achieve through the Bar um, through the Prime series, as well as the obviously the Carol teleport or the Carol teleport portal in my house and the altar. So that's basically the Prime episode done, um, or the Prime series done, I guess you could say. Um, so you know, all series have to come to an end sometime. But obviously, when one series comes to an end, you know, more videos will uh, will come out of that. So seeing as I haven't done a single bank video throughout the 15 episodes of the Prime, I thought it was fitting just to do one at the end of the series, just to see where I've got basically from uh, from starting up to where I am now. So first of all, let's go with the stats. Uh, 70 base stats. This is basically the same stats as my last clip, but this is the I guess the official stats. Uh, 52 per. I believe I was 67 agility in the last clip, but now I'm 60. No, not 68. 67 agility. 68 magic. Because uh, I have done a fair few Barrows runs, um, and I'm going to get to that in a little bit. But there we go. Basically, uh, 47 Construction, 60 Agility, um, 50 Herb Law, 53 Thieving, 61 Slayer, um, 50 Farming, and 66 Fishing. They're the, mainly, they're the main ones worth noting. But if we go to the bank here, um, now we must take note that about 10 mil of this cash is not actually quote unquote mine. This is my main account on RS3. I did transfer the money over um, because you are allowed to do that in this game um, as long as you don't do anything that involves like macroing or bottling or anything like that. Because at the end of the day, um, trading gold from um, RS3 to, 
to 2007 scape um, is at your own risk. It isn't through Jagex. It's at your own risk. So, you know, if you lose your money, that's your fault. Uh, but if it does work, you know, then that's, you know, that's props to you. But obviously, we've got the 2.3 mil cash at the top. Um, my end, I guess my ultimate goal is to pay back the 10 mil to my RS3, which is about 75 mil RS3 GP, um, which is 10 mil on old school. So, we've got the cash at the top, my monkfish, which I'm trying to fish now. I've only got like 400, so I do need to get quite, uh, you know, a fair chunk of monkfish for my barrows, my thousand barrows chests. Just my food at the top and things like that, my red party hat, my glories. Um, I didn't really bother cleaning up my bank too much because, you know, this is the state that I use it in, so I might as well show you. And here are basically like my magic section, my runes, uh, my stamina potions, my spike boots from Desert Treasure and things like that. Um, my cra is this crafting? Crafting, uh, just skills tab, I guess you can say. Um, 3,000 iron ore, 800 coal or 750 coal or um, some gold, things like that. U logs, maple logs, we got some willow logs, some gems. Um, energy potions, which I did use a lot. I'm running out of energy potions. I did use, I did make a lot of energy potions for Herblore, and they have proven very, very useful um, because obviously they give you energy and they're awesome. So I have used a lot of energy potions, so that was a very, very worthwhile investment getting my Herblore up. Dragon mode, still have a few left from my Blue Dragons tasks. I did sell all of my Blue Dragon hide. Uh, we've got about 1,000 raw lobsters, um, 4,000 arrow tips. I'm not sure what I'm going to use with those, and I'd probably end up cooking those lobsters. Um, but I have had those for a fair while, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with them. This is my melee tab. We've got the Dragon Skimitar at the top with the Rune Defender. This was my initial setup, the D-Skim, with the Rune Defender, because I was, um, I've only recently achieved 70 attacks. So before that, I was using the Dragon Skimitar, Barrow's Gloves, Rune Legs, Nezzy Helm, Prozolite, Legends Cape, Slayer Staff. Um, some pretty decent stuff up here. My Black Dehyde, um, Iron Knives, things like that. Uh, we've also got my Rune Skimitar, which, you know, is pretty newbie. A lot of their stuff is quite newbie. Like, we've got the uh, the Blessed the blessed Gold Bowl for uh, our quest. Can't remember what quest that was for. Broad Bolts, I did and I did start with, like, 4,000 Broad Bolts when I was doing the Fire Caves. Now, I've only got about 1,800 left. So, I did use a lot of Bolts throughout that Fire Caves. Did waste a lot of money. Well, not really wasted a lot of money. I did say I did use a lot of money, though. Magic Longbow for a quest. Um, my Sara Cape. Uh, my DBA. D-Legs. We've got... Um, my ele gold elegant blouse, which uh, I did get off a of clue scroll, which is only a bit less than 100k. Fire cape, uh, rune plate body, slayer helmet, and just as you, can, as you can see, the stuff down the bottom here for barrows. Now I figured that the Ivan, the Ivan's, um, this Ivan's upgraded staff is a lot better than the slayer staff because its maximum hit is um, is 25, and the slayer staff I can only hit maybe an 18 or a 19 maximum with the slayer staff. Um, and the Ivan's upgraded staff just hits a lot, you know, I just find it hits a lot more. And if you didn't already know, when you complete the quest, um, I believe it's called Underground Pass, you can actually, well, first of all, you only get 120 charges on this bad boy. Um, but if you pay, there's a wizard in the in Western Ardon, and if you pay him 200k, um, instead of having 120 charges, that is 2,500. So that's um, a significant, I guess, significantly less trips um, having to recharge the staff because you do have to recharge the staff, unfortunately. But then again, it isn't really much of a pain if you have 2,500 charges on it, which is awesome. Um, this is my farming tab, mainly used for runner runs because I have done a lot of runner runs throughout this series, and that's where a lot of my money um, has, I guess, come from. The like, well, the money that I made anyway, the money that I haven't transferred. I've got 150 uh, runner weeds and um, three runner seeds. I did use 50 of those runners on uh, prayer potions, which you'll see in a second. So um, I may just use these in prayer potions because I do need to do a lot of. Um, a lot of barrows run, so I do need a fair amount of prayer there. My potions tab, nothing too special. Sarah brews and super restores left over from the fire caves. My quest tab, which um, everyone should really be using a quest uh, quest tab if they don't have the quest cape just yet, just in case you do need to get an item. And instead of having, you know, instead of worrying about trying to find out where it is, all you got to do is look into your bank, and um, voila, it should, should just be there for you. This is my clue scroll tab. I've only done like one clue scroll, I think, and I do have a medium clue right now, so this tab I don't really use that much. This is more of a drop slash clue, call, clue scroll tab, um, so I don't really use this one. And this is just my barrow stuff, so i got 3,200 chaos runes. I have made about 3,000 chaos runes off of barrows. Um, most of these blood runes, probably about 500, 600 of these are, are off barrows as well. Um, 
most of these death runes and most of these mine runes are off Barrow. So I've only done about uh, 18 Barrow's chests and I did manage to pick up an Aram's robe top. Uh, plus all of these runes. So that's basically my bank video, my bank video for this video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the Prime series. I'm going to be coming out with a montage of my achievements for the Prime, um, probably as my next video. I'm not quite sure. Don't quote me on that. But uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this Prime uh, series and look forward to some progress videos and my 1,000 Barrows Chess progress videos. But apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video.